What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play of CJ. Today we're focusing on the Detroit Red Wings signing Jonathan Erickson to a six year extension that'll pay him $25.5 million, just over $4 million per season. I think it's a good deal for both sides. Erickson gives you size on the back end that other Detroit Red Wings defensemen don't. I uh, 6'4, 220 pounds, good mix of um, you know size, tenacity, and uh, you know a little bit of offensive strength there. Uh, it's actually his playoff numbers offensively are better than his regular season numbers. Which I mean, you know, it's just kind of a, a weird thing to notice. But I'm talking about points per game, obviously. Um, but you know, like I said, just a good player. I uh, played in the Stanley Cup Finals team in '09, scored a goal in Game Seven of the Finals. Um, I remember that. That was to bring Detroit back within one. Then Pittsburgh obviously closed him out. Uh, he's plus 14 career, which is really good considering he's a minus 15 in the 2009-2010 season, his first full season in the NHL. Um, but you know, he's been on the up and up, and you know, definitely proven his play defensively. And you know, he's got five points through 15 games. You know, really. Um, contributing in a number of ways and uh, you know I just I like his game and I think the biggest thing about this contract is the testament to Detroit scouting ability that this guy was the last pick in the 2002 draft and um, you know he signed a nice six-year extension for himself that'll keep him in Motown through um, through age 35 so you know that's a testament to like I said um, the organization they've established here, the Illich family, um, Ken Holland, all those guys from the ownership down to the, to the coaching staff, you know, really identifying great players and putting them in putting them in positions to succeed on a uh, night in night out basis. And like I said, that's just a testament to how great the organizations run from top to bottom. And I think Jonathan Erickson made the right move for himself. Would he have possibly gotten more in the open market? Yeah, absolutely, possibly. Uh, I'm not going to say absolutely because you know, four million for him, is four, upwards of four million is a little hefty. But you know, there, there might have been a deal there. They give him five. And, um, you know, to show loyalty to the organization is, um, is like I said, a testament to his character and a testament to the organization they've developed, where guys are willing to stay there and compete for Stanley Cups and, um, you know, buy into the system. And I think this is going to be input and asterisk with a lot of Detroit Red Wings players that I think their offensive numbers would be higher if they played in other systems where there wasn't such an emphasis on defense, even for defensemen. Um, but, you know, you're willing to take less individual statistics for the greater good of the team, and that's the reason the Detroit Red Wings have the longest postseason streak in North American sports right now. That's just how, you know, how efficient they are. And, uh, you know, I think they're a model organization that the rest of the league should try to emulate. It's the copycat league, and, um, you know, more and more teams are taking, you know, that approach to, uh, to developing players and, you know, letting them season in the AHL or, or in Europe or wherever before bringing them up. And, uh, you know, Erickson was no exception to that rule. So we'll see what happens uh, going forward anyway. Like the deal, good for both sides, bottom line. That's all this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the Jonathan Erickson re-signing with Detroit. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.